but I, I was interested in the possibility that the, the four characters in the play would address the audience as though they were a, a journalist, a member of the media, who was hostile to them. And so I was interested in creating a tense relationship between the characters on stage and the audience. I was writing it during the war and then it was produced at the end, at the end of the war. Um, so I researched thoroughly and I spent a lot of time interviewing soldiers um, who were returning so that I could feel like I could honor their stories. Um, you know, Because I'm a writer and I've never been in the military and uh, I've never been to Afghanistan and I've never fought in a war. So I had a huge um, process to go through imaginatively um, to arrive at a place where I felt like I could write. I could write the play. I mean, the recognition helps you go on. Um, uh, and I do think Canadians like to hear about Canadians. That's my experience of writing for Canadians. So I think that that has some value, you know. We hear a lot of stories about um, Americans and Europeans and they're beautiful, beautiful stories, but I think also it's sometimes nice to hear about ourselves. But I was really, when I look back on it, obsessed with writing. And I was like obsessed with giving the, the, the head of the playwriting program at National Theatre School pages of things that I had written. So I was obviously like really enthusiastic about writing and much less enthusiastic about acting. That must have been what they saw. <laughs>